Before I got my apprenticeship, I was studying my A-levels at the Whitby High School in Ellesmere Port and I was working part-time at Adidas on Treasure Oaks. I've always had an interest in engineering since studying it for my GCSE and my A-levels and I didn't really think that university was the right path for me to take. I studied Maths, English, A-level and Engineering BTEC Level 3 Diploma at David Young Community Academy, Sixth Form. But I decided to leave there because I thought that a more practical route would be better suited for me. I'm actually studying a multi-skilled engineering apprenticeship, so it allows you to uh, mix in mechanical and electrical parts of an apprenticeship, as well as being able to get different aspects of different job roles that I'm doing. I've never done anything like this before, and I like to do new things, and that's why I applied for the apprenticeship in the first place. You can't really learn what problems are going to happen because new problems happen all the time. you just got to learn what frequent problems happen and how to control them. I was really, really excited to finally get started after being given the opportunity. I was also quite nervous to sort of see what I would be doing in college and meet everyone else that was doing it. The first few weeks of the apprenticeship has been challenging. But despite that, I've learned a lot of new things. I've made new friends. I'm always learning. I'm learning new skills every day. This is a job where no matter what you do, you're always going to be learning new things every single day. If you've got the right attitude, Unilever can help you do a lot. If I can give one tip to people who want to apply for an apprenticeship is have an open mind, work hard, and you'll get where you want to be. When you're doing your application, you need to make sure that it's spot on. You shouldn't let little mistakes ruin your opportunity. I think that if you get to assessment days and interviews, you really need to sort of show your personality and be yourself. I think that's one thing that Unilever does really stand for. I think that also you need to show your strengths and show why you deserve the apprenticeship as much as anyone else. After finishing my apprenticeship, I'd love to actually secure a job within Port Sunlight at the minute as an engineer. I think after that, I'd love to get an engineering degree because it'll allow me to like progress further within the company. Hopefully after the three years apprenticeship, I will get a job at the end of it. And if I do get a job at the end of it, there's a chance for further qualifications if you want to go in that path or you can just continue along the route of a technical operator and earn higher levels. So there's 190 factories all over the world, like India, there's loads based all over Europe, like Poland, there's all South America, We've got them in Chile, North America, there's one in China, just everywhere. I hope to in the future get to a high role in Unilever, maybe if it's just a high qualified technical operator or maybe even a manager of a line but Unilever doesn't stop you from doing them things you can carry on carry on and carry on and always learn ever since I got the apprenticeship my life has changed I'm always learning and I'm earning money at the same time I can do a lot more with my time out of work as well it means I can do activities go for meals go to cinemas whatever I want to do really I'd love to go and see loads of different factories and maybe go and work in different countries for a bit and then just see where it takes me. I think that I've got so many opportunities being with Unilever and some that I'm probably not even aware of yet. <laughs>